game, medium, new game. Alright, back when Quake 2 was first released, this is a couple of months past after Hexen 2, it was mind-blowing. Because all of a sudden we've got all this colour in a first-person shooting off. I mean, it, people joke about modern games being brown, but really, they are nothing compared to Quake 1. Quake 1 was the king of brown, then suddenly we've got all this riotous colour, coloured lighting, which was the first in PC gaming. Otherwise this looks totally primitive to you, but this was, as I said, mind-blowing. It was a showcase for the Voodoo graphics card running on OpenGL again. We've got some objectives, a bit more complex than Quake 1. And you know, as compared to Hexen 2, the enemies are a bit smarter. They'll uh, try and take cover. That guy didn't get much of a chance to do so, but they will. There's, they're shooting a barrel there. I'm just going to shoot this guy. Boom. One thing you'll note, you might have noticed, is that when I shoot there, see, he's taking a last shot, trying to take a last shot at me before he dies. One thing you might have noticed is that when I shoot, the explosions for my guns aren't bitmaps, they're actually little, little polygonal explosions. I'm just going down here because there's two guys down here, and they have a shotgun, which is very useful because it'll one shot these guys from a close enough range. I'm just trying to get it without actually getting shot ourselves, which is easier said than done. Menace, my, I'm a bit jerky at times. This is because I am, in fact, playing with a trackball, not a mouse, due to our issues with RSI. Right, so we've got the shotgun, we've got the ammo. There's a health pack around the side, so we're going to go and get that. Oh, the health pack around the side, isn't there? Yes, there it is, health pack. Now, what we do is, oh, you'll notice when I shoot these barrels, boom, the explosions are again polygonal. Um, same as when I hit exploded that bit of floor. So we're just going down here and what we'll find down here is a secret area. What we'll find down here is a secret area. Here we are, one, se one little secret area. Got some grenades but we're going to keep those and swap back to the shotgun. Once there's a goal, it basically boils down to kill everything. Though, like Hexen 2, this takes a hub-based approach to, to level design. No, we didn't one-shot him. There's no cover, once again, there's no cover system beyond just ducking out of the way of shots. And that's the way we liked it. Boom, boom, shake the room. Enemies will actually respond to noise in this. I'm dying horribly here. There we go. Uh, yeah, enemies in this will respond to noise and come running. They will also sometimes try and run away. That's uh, an it's notice with the shotgun, I'm one-shotting these guys. We're just returning back to the starting room because there's another pickup area. I don't know where he actually came from. And here, a chance for you to see the barrel explosions without other things shooting me. See? Little nuclear clouds. This just leads us back down there. And the ladder. That, this will take us back down into the water area. Head back there now. No other hidden things here. At least not that I know of. That's the hole where we came in. This level has two enemies on in it. The basic grunts that we've just been mowing through, and some tougher guys who we're going to see very shortly. Eight. 
Yeah, there, see, he takes a couple of shots just before he dies. The bigger guys. There's one guy there, we're just gonna shoot him. Stupid. Now, there's a few. What we can do against these bigger guys is when we activate them. There he is. Now, he, this guy's got a mini gun. He's dangerous and we're stuck and we need to get out of the way. But what we can do is as he approaches, yep, he's just killed himself on barrel, so I was going to do that. And the other guy would get the grenade for when he shows up. There he is. Oh no, there's two of them. Run, run, run. I think that wet squelch we just heard was the second one. There. See? Lots of gibs. I think we might have got two of them there. Certainly got him. Yep, looks like we've got everybody. We're we'll just checking the... Oh no, we've got one, one last guy. Yeah. And there he is. No, that did not get him at all. That's just messed up the gibs a bit. Yep, wet squelch and he should be dead. Back to our trusty shotgun. Check the kill counter. Kills 19 of 21. We've got two more guys alive. Hopefully they won't be more of those ones. God, they are, aren't they? Nope. One guy here. And one guy there. I see the shotgun does more damage the closer you are, because whilst I've got three solid hits on that guy, he, uh... Yeah, he, d he took three solid hits to go down, whereas the previous guys I've shot with the shotgun have only needed one. So we're just going to get the last secret, and then end the level. Shoot that, duck down, boom boom. Two health and a grenade. Later on you can pick up a grenade launcher, more weapons, the super shotgun, which is sort of faster to reload. Yep, we've got everything now. And here we are, down the level, hit the button. Next level starts, and that was it, first level of Quake 2.